What's going on guys? My name is Brad, aka iPod Memorizer 11, and oh my god, we are on the home stretch to Synergetic, and I can't wait for Synergetic. You guys are definitely going to enjoy it. It's going to be my best video, and we're going to go out with a bang this year. I'm going to guarantee it for you guys. So, um, Also, I'm going to be starting up a new series over this week, because I might as well do it now, since I'm not going to make any videos afterwards, most likely. So, uh, what this series is going to be, it's going to be the history of iPod. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just explain uh, stories of how I got here today and uh, general shit dickery that my friends did um, behind the scenes on YouTube and stuff. So I figured you guys might enjoy it. And I've been procrastinating for the last year doing this because I this was one of the main priorities of commentaries that I wanted to do, but I've probably made two commentaries in the last year and a half or so. So I'm doing really well on that. But... Uh, since I'm probably not going to make any videos anymore, uh, I really wanted to do this, so I'm getting it out of the way now, and hopefully I can do this correctly, so uh, bear with me. Uh, this episode's probably going to be the longest one, and it's probably also going to be the worst one by far, because I am awful at trying to tell the story since I've been waiting for the last year to do it. It just never turned out the way I wanted it to. And it's really hard to explain, because I basically have to explain it to a person that has never seen what I've seen, I guess. And uh, YouTube only tells like a small sliver of what happened behind the scenes on Xbox, so it's going to be pretty tough trying to do this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, gameplays in the background, uh, don't worry too much about them, they're just gameplays that I wanted to get rid of since uh, I didn't really have any use for them, and since I haven't done any commentaries in the last year and a half or so, uh, yeah, they're pretty ancient, so... Uh, don't really mind about that, uh, just bear with the commentary, and it's gonna be pretty choppy and stuff, I'm doing this all in one take, so, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, let's flash back to 2009, um, I started off in a game called Blockland, this was back when I was doing PC gaming, and, uh, I was in 6th grade, or I was going into 6th grade, I purchased Blockland, uh, going into the summer of 2009, so I was gonna be 6th grade, the following year, and what is that, like 11 or 12, something like that. So, um, what this game is, it's basically like a smaller scale of Minecraft. It's essentially like the same thing, but it has like an exponentially smaller player base. There's probably about 40,000 people that have played it over the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, however long it's been around. So, um... Yeah, you basically do the same things as Minecraft. Whatever motive and whatever building skill you have to make your server however you want it, then that that's how far it can go. Um, you could literally do anything on it as far as the mods can go, and however uh, your motives want to shift that. Um, you could do stuff like zombies, team games, uh, city RPGing, family RPing. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but people did that for some reason. Um... And there's also, like, the racing games and other uh, jail RPing. That was a fun time. I hosted my own server. I'll get into that later. But uh, what I'm trying to get across here is you could basically do anything on this game. And it was pretty fun. I liked it a lot more than I would have Minecraft. It, Minecraft just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know why. It's probably the player base or something associated with that. So, um... Basically, when you first bought the game, you get an ID, and however close to like the current date, uh, that's how high your ID is. So, basically, someone with like uh, a number like nine thousand two hundred, uh, they started probably like a year ago. But if you have an ID of like ten thousand, then you probably started like today or something. So. Uh, as time went by, uh, IDs got higher and higher, and I started off with 13,998, that was my ID, and I don't know why, for some reason, um, there, there was just, like, a lot of hate towards, like, the newer players, because, uh, it was really easy to tell who the newer players are just based off their ID, because, again, um, it goes up however close to the current date it was or whatever. That's a really terrible way of explaining it, but I don't really have any other means of doing that. But, um, you essentially, it was very hard to get into the game at first because, um, people always picked on you and you didn't really know what you were doing. It was, uh, kind of a free for all and only the strong survived. That's basically how it went. And if you didn't adjust quickly, then you were probably subject to, 
a lot of torture over time. It's it's a lot. Uh, I'm exaggerating a lot more than it actually was, but it seems like that. So um, I had the ID of thirteen thousand nine hundred ninety eight, and my first name I remember was like Spartan Killer three thousand. Keep in mind this was back when I was going into sixth grade, so I didn't I did not know what the hell I was doing, but. Um, I got banned from a server once. Uh, the host of the server, his name was like Spartan One One Seven, and since my name was Spartan Killer, I don't know why he he just had some sort of hate towards me. And I got banned from a couple servers for my name, or probably because I was just a general idiot because I didn't know what I was doing. So um, he banned me from the server. So the next day, I changed my name to iPod Memorizer Fifty Five, and. I don't know what was going through my head this that time around, but it stuck with me, and uh, as you can tell, it stuck with me for a pretty long time since it's my YouTube channel, and uh, basically my name on everything and stuff like that, so um, I guess what was going through my head was I memorized songs off of my iPod and 55, I don't know, 55 sounded cool. <laughs> So the name stuck with me, and that's just kind of what I went by throughout the years, and um, I don't really care about the stuff I got from uh, from the beginning when I first changed my name, but uh, over time, uh, people appreciated it, I guess. <laughs> there wasn't really much hate afterwards, like the first few months or so, but uh, over the summertime, uh, I basically no life the game since I didn't really have much else to do. I just woke up played for like 12 hours or so, and then went back to bed, and then the next day I just repeated the same routine. So, uh, I don't really regret doing that, because it was a pretty fun game, and since it was a sandbox game, and uh, the servers always changed, there's always a new server that you could go on, um, always new stuff to be explored, and uh, there's definitely servers that are better than others. Some have incredible builders, or some host the best mods, or um, they have the most even playing field for uh, whatever mods, like the JLRPs or the team games and stuff. And then there's some that got uh, a really incredible amount of players for how crappy the server was. For example, family RPs. I don't know why those always filled up even though um, you didn't do much but pretend to be a family, and it got really weird over time as there's like bestiality and um, really spammy builds and stuff like that, so uh, I don't, don't really know how that came about, but the servers I stuck to mainly was a uh, city RPG server, it was called Diggy's Metropolis RP, and uh, basically what the city RPG is, you uh, basically do city life. You can choose the path you want to go. You could be like a criminal, a shopkeeper, a cop, um, a lawyer, uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, mercenary, firefighter, stuff like that. Um, and you could do whatever. You can make your own builds, contribute to the server, make it look really nice, and uh, just contribute to society, I guess. <laughs> And along the way, there's sometimes murderers, and the cops always go and get them. And I have a couple stories from that, but I'll get into that eventually. Um, so this server was where I met uh, XClutch3K. Uh, you may know him as Zach from a lot of my older videos, if you're an older subscriber. And a few other people, there. I didn't talk to them uh, probably a few years after um, I went off Block Clan. So... Uh, these people are Pilot Zombie, Cerberb, and Etai. And these were these four people were probably my best friends throughout the server. And um, we started a little um, mob thing. I my role in the server was mostly like a shopkeeper slash criminal slash mercenary. I always switched between them. I didn't really know what I was doing, so. Um, sometimes I would just become a criminal, rob people, shoot people, stuff like that, always get arrested. And then sometimes I wanted to make a shop and sell weapons and stuff because that was cool apparently. I don't know what was going through my 6th grade mind. So, uh, that's basically what I did. And what set this server apart from all the others was that, uh, it wasn't like the run-of-the-mill city RPG, uh, script. And... This was also fail on uh, the official like mod list or whatever because it was a really broken 
um, really broken script. There's a lot of glitches and stuff, and it was really basic, and a lot of people didn't really know how to host one. Stuff like that, but um, the host of the server, Diggy, or he went by Wentworth back then, uh, he modified the script around to make it... Uh, there's quite a few things. I don't exactly remember what things he changed, but... Uh, there, there were a lot of things that went into it. I'll try and show pictures on the screen uh, throughout the entire thing to give you guys more of a visual sense of the entire thing. It's really hard to explain. My memory's failing me. This is <laughs> six years ago, so can't expect me to remember everything. But um, the build itself, it was an extremely large build. There were uh, two cities and one industrial area. There was like an industrial strip, uh, just like any other city. And... Um, it was run by Wentworth and also his administrators that constantly monitored the server. These people included people uh, named Naliscro and SWAT725, and those were the main people. And um, a story about SWAT725, uh, when I first started on the server, I uh, this was like when I first started Blockland and I was kind of getting into the Metropolis RP server, but... I decided, uh, I was a laborer at the time, so I, uh, you had to mine, like, mine or cut down trees and stuff like that for a certain amount of money, and it was really awful at the time, the exchange rates were terrible, but, um, I finally saved up enough money to make my own build, and I found a plot of land that you could place down, uh, a plate to make your build and claim it as your own. And uh, when I built it, built it, it was like extremely spammy. It went all wrong, and then SWAT came around and deleted it, and I, I just went ballistic. And then he ended up muting me, and I just sat there in silence because I spent over like three hours getting the money to uh, fund the build, and then it gets destroyed immediately by SWAT because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. So I yelled at him. I got muted, but. Uh, I just sat there in silence mining and stuff like that, and then um, I ended up getting unmuted by Diggy later on, luckily, so uh, that's that, but that was earlier on, and uh, finally I decided to make the shift to criminal or something like that, and uh, I saw on this one weapon vendor of flamethrower or something like that, and um, it was $800, so I had to save up my money. Uh, I, you get chump change when you first start off in the server, and then you work your way up by gaining experience. Uh, that was one of the original things in the Metropolis RP. But I finally saved up enough. It was $800, and I got lost on the way there since, again, I was new to the server and all. So uh, I jumped into an empty plot of land, and there was literally no way of me getting out. So... Uh, I had to kill myself with $800 on hand, which was basically my entire four hours worth of work time or whatever, and then Wentworth came about and stole it, and I got extremely mad, and <laughs> that was that was interesting. And I think I got kicked from the server, I, I wasn't really sure, probably because I was yelling out the super uh, administrator of the entire thing, but... Um, Fast forward a few months or so, uh, going into sixth grade, I basically did the same thing, except uh, with school in the way, so I didn't play 12 hours a day, I played more like eight. Since it was sixth grade, you don't really do much in school at that time, it starts getting more intense during high school. So I came home, played Blockland, played on the server, and uh, that's basically all I did uh, throughout sixth grade. Um, so I guess I'll get into what... Uh, what I did for most of the time on the server and how I became good friends with Zach or xclutch 3 k uh, So, starting off, I joined, uh, like, a little crime guild thing. It was... I don't exactly remember the name, but, uh... This was when I first met Zach. We, uh... We just committed some shit degree. We had our small little base that we, uh... planned stuff and all that good stuff, but... Um, I jailed, I was a mercenary at the time, so you could have the opportunity to, uh, commit crime, or you could play the good guy role and arrest people, so I ended up arresting the leader for some, uh, bizarre reason one day, and he got mad at me, so I got kicked out of the clan, or the guild or whatever, and, 
Uh, that was the end of that. I th I completely forget what the name was, but later on, uh, I joined I joined up with Zach. His name at the time was Final Sly, or not Final Sly, but just Sly. And uh, we started up Mafia, and this is where Pilot Zombie and Itai joined in. That's how I became friends with them, and there were quite a few other people in the clan. I don't exactly remember, but what we did, we basically had our own base. We always switched off because I always tried to make builds for uh, bases, and since I was an awful builder at the time, they always got deleted, so I always had to change locations whenever necessary, and that was basically that. But um, we always had our own little base, and we could code it or script it to the way... Um, so that only a few people can enter the base and we could keep out any other people that aren't part of it. Uh, you could plug in an ID into a script so uh, those people that don't have their ID in the system can't get in. So um, we just, we didn't really do much actually. We just kind of sat around and I was always off of the server whenever... Um, whenever stuff happened, so there wasn't much of that, but we ended up getting into a war with one of the admins, Nelliscro. I completely forget what his, uh, what his thing was, but, um, what his mob or whatever was, but we, uh, we thought there was going to be a clan war, but I guess there wasn't, and around this time, a couple months later, the server shut down unexpectedly, and it didn't, uh, reappear for another couple months, um, there was a lot of speculation over what happened over that time, and uh, apparently Diggy was just having troubles running the server. I think it was like money issues or something like that, but um, the server started up uh, clean slate like a few months later, and uh, since it was a clean slate, we had to take a month or so to build the city back to what it was, and it was entirely on the sea. I don't know why, but... Um, it was really interesting because all the, uh, the previous build was on dry land, so it was a lot easier to build things that, um, trying to build things that are underwater is, uh, not very good from my experience, but that server lasted for a couple months afterward. I didn't really do much on there, but, um, dick around and stuff like that. And around, um, like, not too long before the server shut down permanently, um, I decided to start adding people from the server on Xbox, and this is where I added Sly and Pilot Zombie and Itai on Xbox, and uh, I'll get into that in the next episode. This is just entirely on Blackland, but um, that's basically it for Diggy's Metropolis, I guess. Um, the server shut down not too long after the new build went up. I don't know why, but um, he hasn't reappeared since, and the topic on the forums has since been locked, uh, when I left permanently, so, um, I can't really get a status update on Diggy right now, but I'm pretty certain that the server's not gonna come back, and it's just a thing of the past, so, um, that's basically it for Diggy's Metropolis, and this is a really long commentary, I'm sorry guys, but, um, this is probably gonna be the longest one, all the other ones are probably gonna be about 10 minutes or so, but, I need to get into one more thing, and this was my server, um, my server hosting memories. Uh, I had two main servers that I ran. Um, one of them was a city RPG server. I think I hosted this um, before the the first build went away, before Diggy disappeared for the first time, and we were kind of intertwining. I tried to make like a knockoff of the thing. I just I found. Uh, the city RPG script, which, uh, if you didn't know, it was fail bin, which means that you can't find the script anywhere, and it's basically one of those, uh, mods that are frowned upon, and the, um, the admins over the entire, uh, game don't really appreciate you hosting, but people do it anyways, and they don't care, but it's just extremely hard to find the mod, uh, the fail bin mod itself, so... Um, I finally got my hands on it, and since I really liked the Metropolis thing, I decided, hey, let's start up my own server. So, I started it up. It was an extremely crappy build, and I didn't really get many people to go over there, except for my friends, and we just dicked around because, well, why not? They were all admins on the server, and we could do whatever we wanted. So, that lasted for probably a couple months. I, uh, 
what I did was I ran the server during school. I always AFK'd on there. And uh, during school, people could log on or whatever during the time. So, uh, yeah, that lasted a couple months. Then I decided to shut it down. And this is uh, probably the most fun time besides the Metropolis thing. And uh, it was probably the most fun thing because it was my own server. And basically what it was, it was a jail RPG server. It's essentially just like any other prison type thing. Uh, you have your prisoners and you have your guards, and the guards are supposed to prevent the prisoners from escaping, and um, the prisoners are supposed to be... They could be either sneaky or they could play by the rules, and if you were if you were a prisoner and you were caught by a guard doing something illegal, like grabbing a weapon or uh, killing a guard, then you get put down, basically. Or if you get uh, caught trying to escape into the yard. I will definitely post pictures on this. I definitely know I have um, pictures. And I'll provide links if you really want to see the entire thing. But um, what what this server was, it was originally hosted by a clan called Scattered Space. And the original creator was a guy named Shappa. And um, one day I decided to get into their server. It was a private server, so you had to have the password to log in. But I guess the password, um, it was an extremely easy password. It was the clan name, Scattered Space. Go figure. And I logged into the server and I saved it. And I didn't think I was going to do anything with it at the time. But uh, after the server went down and Shappa never hosted it again, I asked him if I could host it. So... Uh, he said yes, so I went ahead and did it. I tweaked it to my the best of my abilities. I just added a couple more guns and made it a bit more even, I guess. And I just tried to tweak it around. It was a full build already, so there was, really wasn't much to adjust. But I tried adding my own things to make it a bit more fun. And it was a pretty fun server for the time it lasted. And, um... I hosted it with Zach, and we traded on and off for uh, whoever was hosting it, but mainly it was either one of us hosting it, and um, it, it was pretty fun. I, I don't really have much else to explain. Uh, my admins, I had like a set of like 10 admins. A couple of them were really abusive, and there's always the debacle of whether or not a uh, guard was cheating, because guards have... Uh, there is really no... Uh, saying of whether a uh, prisoner was doing something illegal so guards could free kill whenever. So there's always the management of the server that uh, has to go into it. And I installed a resurrect uh, keybind for players that were free killed or accused of being free killed. And uh, my there was one day that I hosted it overnight, but I had to go to bed that night and... Uh, because there were like 18 players on the server, which was the most I've ever had. And, um, I guess one of my super admins, uh, he base once I went off, he basically abused the shit out of everybody else. And I don't really know the entire story, but the, after I got back, like the morning, that morning, the next morning, I guess, um, everybody was gone and, uh, I tried to get the rundown of it and, he j it just said that it didn't last long afterwards. It probably lasted like 30 minutes after I went to bed. So that, that was a complete waste of time. And basically, uh, how I got players on the server, um, being the sixth, uh, sixth grade me, uh, I just put stupid things like free beer and stuff in the title because, I don't know, it attracts the people better for some reason. And funny enough, it actually worked for, <laughs> for whatever reason. And... It's incredibly hard trying to get those first few people in because you're always at the bottom of the server list because you have the fewest players, but once you get start getting players in there, then it starts picking up eventually. And I don't think I ever passed 25. 25 was a pretty good number for how small the build was. And, um, yeah, I basically... That was a pretty fun time, and... Uh, in the next episode, I'll explain uh, the shift over to Xbox. That This was basically an extremely brief rundown, which is kind of funny since this lasted 25 minutes. It's the longest commentary I've ever done, but um, this is definitely going to be the shortest one, guys, I promise you. So uh, I made the shift over to Xbox in May of 2010, and I'll explain that in the next episode. I don't really want to go any longer than I already have, so... Uh, 
this was probably the best take I've done on this over the last year that I've tried to do this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it made some sense. I'll, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next commentary. And this is going to be the shift over to Xbox and the end of my Blockland gaming things and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. And be ready for November 1st. So peace out, guys.